Are you ready to learn about the physicist who ventured into the soul? Wolfgang Pauli is known in physics as a razor-sharp thinker, a pioneer of quantum theory, and the discoverer of the Pauli exclusion principle. Yet Pauli was not a typical scientist. Behind his mathematical brilliance was a profound inner crisis that pushed him toward an unexpected path. The exploration of consciousness, symbolism, dreams, and the hidden unity between mind and matter. His collaboration with psychologist Carl Jung became one of the most unique partnerships in intellectual history, a physicist and a psychoanalyst, searching for a deeper order beneath quantum uncertainty and human psyche. Together, they proposed that reality has two faces, mental and physical, which emerge from the same underlying source. For Pauli, quantum physics did not describe a cold, mechanical universe. It revealed a world shaped by patterns, probabilities, and meaningful connections that defied classical logic. His journey invites us to reconsider the foundations of existence. What if mind and matter are not separate realms, but expressions of one unified consciousness? The Quantum Revolution and the Mystery of Observation Pauli entered physics at a time when the quantum world was overturning the old certainty of Newtonian mechanics. Classical physics imagined a universe of solid particles moving predictably through space. But quantum mechanics revealed something radically different. Particles that behave like waves, probabilities instead of certainties, and outcomes that depend on observation. Pauli saw that the observer could not be separated from the observed. Consciousness played an indispensable role in shaping reality at the smallest scales. This insight shattered the materialist illusion of a world existing independently of mind. For Pauli, the quantum realm hinted at a deeper structure a domain where physical events and mental states were intertwined, where the probability fields of physics mirrored the symbolic fields of the psyche. Quantum mechanics was not only a scientific revolution, it was a philosophical earthquake, challenging humanity to rethink what reality truly means. Meeting Carl Jung The Birth of Synchronicity the partnership between Pauli and Jung began when Pauli sought therapy after a personal crisis. But what emerged went far beyond clinical treatment. It became a decades-long dialogue about the unity of psyche and physics. Jung shared with Pauli his idea of synchronicity. Meaningful coincidences that are not caused by physical interactions, but arise from deeper connections in the psyche. Pauli recognized in this concept a parallel to quantum non-locality and a causality. Phenomena where events influence each other outside classical cause and effect. Their discussions led to a revolutionary idea that both synchronicity and quantum effects might originate from a shared underlying reality, one that transcends the material and the psychological. Pauli believed that the mind does not merely interpret the world it participates in it. Synchronicities, in this sense, are not random anomalies, but windows into the hidden unity between consciousness and the cosmos. The archetypes and the structure of reality. Jung introduced Pauli to the idea of archetypes, universal patterns of meaning that structure the human psyche. Pauli, with the mind of a physicist, saw these archetypes not as mere psychological constructs, but as reflections of deeper ordering principles in nature. He began to suspect that the same mathematical harmony shaping the quantum world might also shape the psychic world. Archetypes, he argued, could be the inner face of the same structures that manifest externally as physical laws. Just as electrons follow probabilistic paths defined by wave equations, Human imagination follows symbolic paths defined by archetypal forms. Pauli called this hidden ordering principle the unus mundus, the one world, a unified domain beneath both mind and matter. 
In this unified reality, the psyche and the physical universe are not separate, but complementary expressions of one underlying intelligence. Quantum Symbolism and the Language of the Psyche As their collaboration deepened, Pauli came to see dreams and symbols as forms of inner physics, patterns that reveal the structure of the psyche, just as equations reveal the structure of matter. Pauli's own dreams were filled with mathematical forms, geometric mandalas, and symbolic images that he believed emerged from the same source as physical law. He and Jung speculated that the universe speaks two languages, one expressed through numbers, patterns, and fields, the other expressed through archetypes, dreams, and symbols. Both languages, they believed, describe the same underlying reality, the unus mundus. Pauli's insight was daring. That meaning is not subjective, but woven into the fabric of existence. Just as electrons move according to probability waves, human insight, intuition, and inspiration may arise from unconscious patterns linking the psyche to the cosmos. In this vision, consciousness becomes a participant in the unfolding of reality, not a passive observer. The mind-matter mirror and the unity of knowledge. Pauli believed that the separation between physics and psychology was an artificial divide created by modern rationalism. For him, the mind and the material world mirror each other, two perspectives on the same deeper field of being. In letters to Jung, he wrote that the quest for scientific truth and the quest for inner meaning were ultimately inseparable. Quantum physics had revealed a universe where observation shapes outcomes, probabilities replace determinism, and interconnectedness replaces isolation. Psychology revealed a soul structured by archetypes, symbols, and synchronous patterns that defy material explanation. Pauli fused these insights into a profound worldview. The cosmos is a unity of matter meaning, where the physical and the psychic arise from the same creative foundation. The future of knowledge, he believed, would unite physics, psychology, philosophy, and spirituality into a single science of consciousness, the quantum psyche and the future of reality. Pauli's vision anticipates some of today's most cutting-edge ideas, from quantum consciousness theories to holistic models of mind-matter interaction. He saw the Unus Mundus as a cosmic field of potential, where mind and matter originate from the same timeless source. Synchronicity, intuition, creativity, and non-local quantum effects are all expressions of this deeper reality. In this framework, consciousness is not an accident of biology. It is a fundamental feature of the universe, emerging from the same patterns that shape energy and matter. Pauli believed that the future of science lies in recognizing this unity, dissolving the rigid boundaries that divide physics from psychology, matter from mind, the outer world from the inner one. His legacy points toward a coming paradigm in which human consciousness is seen as a participant in cosmic evolution a spark of the same intelligence that governs the quantum realm, the one reality behind psyche and physics. Wolfgang Pauli stands as a rare figure who bridged two worlds, the precise mathematics of quantum physics and the symbolic depths of the human psyche. His collaboration with Carl Jung revealed that the divide between matter and mind is not a wall but a veil. Behind it lies the unus mundus, a unified field of being where physical events and inner experiences arise from the same mysterious source. Pauli believed that understanding this deeper unity is essential to understanding ourselves and the universe. His work invites us to see synchronicity as meaningful, consciousness as fundamental, and physics as a gateway to spiritual insight. Through Pauli's eyes, the universe is not a machine or a dream. It is a cosmic field of intelligence, expressing itself through particles, symbols, and the human soul's search for meaning. 